hello and welcome so in today's video we are going to install Windows Server 2003 so this is my Proxmox I'm gonna create a virtual machine if I can find where it is maybe from the data center create virtual machine right there it's right there okay I'm gonna name it node is fine name let's see Windows Server 2023 it needs dashes or something to make it one uh, the started boot options resource pooling everything stays the same storage is local here make sure that it is uh, Microsoft Windows so for the version that we are not sure I'm gonna go with the highest most uh, it does give problems sometimes so you have to come here and fix them there my Windows Server evaluation copy I'm gonna go with that graphic card is default being compatible there are some graphic cards oh that might be it. machine q35 so everything I'm gonna keep it to default uh, that TPM storage I'm gonna give it local EFI storage I'm gonna give it local for the disk let's give it uh, 50 GB its IDE storage is it can be SATA. Let's make it SATA. And this bandwidth is uh, unlimited. For the CPU, I'm going to give it four virtual CPUs. For the memory, let's give it a GB. Uh, network, let's stick to defaults and confirm hit finish and if I click on summary there should be something going on with CPU usage not yet uh, Windows Server it hasn't started yet so as soon as I hit start it will start doing the um, its installation So it's asking for pixie that I I don't want any pixie right now and apparently my keys are not working fail to start boot DVD ROM from timeout fail to start boot 001 UFE I'm gonna go ahead and try to fix it all right so now it's doing its thing let's take the console out and there is so what I had to do was I removed the uh, I shut it down and turn, turn it back up I also did remove the SATA and turn back the IDE on I don't know which one did the trick I am not going to deep dive now so you have a few things you can go with standard data center desktop environment standard desktop it's really up to you let's go with data center violation why not Alright, so let's accept it. We're going to upgrade because we don't have an uh, uh, operating system already installed. This is the first time, so we're going to go with custom and it says which one. I'm going to go with 50 GB. And look at that, maybe we do have uh, the disk already there because this is the IDE I installed, so SATA is still there. So my guess is when it 
uh, boots up you have to press an, uh, uh, a key for it to go to that ISO image and if you don't press then it start looking for pixie boot pixie is a network boot yeah it will so you set up a server host that hosts all of your ISOs and then uh, you run the setup and setup will go and get the ISO files from the server it's very common in enterprise environment so uh, it's cool too but uh, the pain is that you have to have physical uh, wired access all right so I'm gonna pause the video here let it uh, all finished up and then we'll come continue so that was super fast it literally took two minutes literally uh, Apparently, control alt del and it's talking about my physical host and uh, this should be a way to send that key hmm nah hmm let me figure out that how to send that key I, I knew that I had seen it somewhere so Maybe it's this control alt. What is it? Tab escape right there. And I have my server desktop. I'm gonna give it yes. Go ahead, start connecting. So this is really cool you have one server you don't want everybody to log in directly to the server uh, you have you go through Windows admin center I believe it had some other name with Windows 10 um, uh, Windows remote admin something but now it has changed to Windows admins it was remote server administration RSA and now it has changed to Windows admin center yeah I, um, I no longer work with the uh, this servers uh, Windows servers now everything is Linux fakes and automation so it's been a while <laughs> all right so I have my server I don't have the full screen I'm gonna work on that hopefully uh, I'll be able to fix it with a reboot uh, if not I'll have to go and dig deep but here it is this is how you install the uh, Windows server to your Proxmox um hopefully this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next one